Okay, so the product plan pitch did not go according to, well, plan. I've looked at the grades, I've looked at the papers, I've looked at what happened and something went wrong. So, we're going to fix that. Now, the first thing I want to say is that there will be a resubmission. It will be open on Turn It In. It will be open from not long after receiving the link to this video until 8 a.m. Thursday morning, a.k.a. just on the start of class on Thursday morning. We will then hold the Thursday morning class. I will return to my office a little bit after 9.15 and I will start marking the resubmissions to get them back to you. We're going to fix this. So, this is how it's going to go. In the revision, you can revise your target market. Most people will need or want to revise their target market section so that they will put in their references and formatting and get their citation count in the correct order. You may revise your product offer, but most, if not all of you, won't need to revise the product offer in terms of what it is you're offering, but you will need to revise it in terms of how you're explaining the offer. You have the option, of course, to turn down the resubmission. You can just take the points you scored and go, I'm okay with that, and walk away. I will accept and respect that decision, and you keep the points from round one. Should you go into round two, whatever you score in round two is what becomes that grade. So this is an opportunity, and it is not a compulsory opportunity. So, there are some problems that were just across the whole of the task, which says something went wrong. There was a lack of citations, and all that says to me is that a memo was missed somewhere along the way. Word got out that this was not an assignment that required referencing. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that came about, but it did. Therefore, something broke in the system. Something went wrong. On the task template, it, there was the use external references requirement. I mention references in class on a regular basis. It's a university assignment, so I was kind of working on the default that if assignment at university, then reference. But for whatever reason, it didn't work, it didn't happen. Most of the assignments lacked references, so something went wrong. We're going to fix that. On the things that went okay to went well, people can pitch me a product. You are a very creative crew. You have thought through some very clever ideas. You have fundamentally understood what it is you need to do to offer something to the market. This is a real positive. Unless you have a comment from me inside the assignment saying, hey, you need to iterate, change, or modify your product offer to, for clarity, you are in a good position. So your products are fundamentally OK. I think there's one, maybe two, I wasn't sure how they were going to be implemented or what you were actually offering. But there's also, I can explain how that problem gets solved in a moment. So, the actual products, quite clear. Quite often, too many words were spent describing the actual product and not enough words were invested in the justification. So. What I need from you is I need you to go back into the slide deck and I need you to go back into the chapter and I need you to look at the product theories. I need you to be telling me what is it your product is solving in terms of a core product. I want you to think about your consumer behavior theory and I want you to cite support for these ideas. Explain to me and justify to me why this product is a solution, why it's the thing your market needs. A lot of you use this phrase co-creation and you used it correctly, you just didn't support it with a citation. 
And you did not start this subject knowing about the technical use of marketing understanding of the word co-creation. So bring in your reference. This is a theory. This is a framework. This is a concept. Justify the decision with an explanation, with your theory. So, clearly I did not communicate the memo. So I am taking a responsibility for this. I, this is my fault. I did not make my specifications and my requirements clear enough to you. So, I am now making it absolutely clear. There will be a mandatory need for in-text referencing in the resubmission. I have put links into this deck of the use of the APA style guide. I have accept Harvard, Toronto, Oxford, Cambridge, MLA, or any other listed style on that those links. Why I need this to happen is that in your later year assignment subjects and tasks at this university, you need to be using in-text, you need to be using citation, you need to be using referencing. I can't let you out of my subject without getting you to demonstrate to me you have these fundamentals, you've got these skills down. So you need to justify, you need to support your decisions. Inside the assignment task, under the product section, there is a lot of emphasis on being able to justify what aspect of marketing you're using to pitch this product. Inside the target market area, there is an element of evidence from practice, and people were much more prone to cite an element of evidence from practice than to cite their theory. So fix this up, let's do both. Also, in segmentation, there are theories on market segmentation. There are types of segmentation variables. There are decisions that you make to say, how am I going to break up my market? All of those require citation and support. So, you can use the textbook, oft and frequently this time. You can use academic articles in support of and in addition to the textbook. And you can use evidence from practice. You can go and tell me about the statistics of the region or data from other sources. Cite it and support it. So, just to let you know that citations are a thing, there is a link to the Princess Bride scene, and this is literally a case of two people throwing citations and theory at each other whilst they're also uh, fencing. So if you can cite during a sword battle in a movie, you can cite in an academic assignment. Now, another thing that happened is quite a few people broke free of the assignment specifications, which was a bad decision. This was an error. This was a mistake. So we are going to correct that mistake. Anyone who deployed a SWOT analysis walked straight into a trap and cost themselves words. If you weren't using those words to score points, you were losing points from wasted words. At no point on the assignment specifications that I asked for a SWOT analysis, I'm still asking you to develop an assignment that meets the technical specifications, and SWOT wasn't part of the tech. It wasn't part of the specifications. The reason that you are also losing points here is that you were asked to undertake a task, and that was to pitch a product with a specific set of parameters. When you didn't pitch to those parameters, you weren't acting as a marketer. You weren't meeting the needs of the audience. You weren't engaging in the processes that are necessary inside a marketing practice. So this is why, and I don't think that this was clearly enough explained to you either, so again, my error, which we're gonna correct, is you are asked to pitch out four sections. There are four marks, elements to the marks criteria. There are four elements to the template and there are four elements of advice. Pitch within the parameters. This is a specification. You need to make that specification. If your client asks for a three by six matrix and you give them a two by 12, they're not going to want what you're offering. So stay inside the parameters. 
on the revisiting of the technical specifications, having said to you how important they are, let's go through them again. The product offer. You have good products, so pitch them to me in the language I want to hear them in. Tell me about co-creation. Tell me about the product model. Tell me how it fits to the AMA's idea of off an offering that has value. Tell me how it matches the CIM's mantra. Those are four theories I wanted to see incorporated. Those four theories come with referencing requirements. So you can solve your referencing problem on the product offer section really quick by talking about co-creation, product model, AMA 2007, and CMI, CIM 2005. And co-creation, you can either take that from the Solomon et al. Or you can take that from a range of sources from the internet, including academic articles. The product model is probably best done out of the textbook, so it is a Solomon citation. But what you need to do is you need to pitch the product to me in the marketer's language. I need to know that you are understanding our concepts and our frameworks, and you can apply them to an invention of your own creation. Target market. You will need to use citations here because I'm asking you to use CB theory, consumer behavior theory, from the chapter on consumer behavior. So logically, this is going to be a Solomon et al. citation fest. And there is a list of marketing segmentation variables. They are inside the textbook. That then is a starting point. That's a set of Solomons. You also will find it very easy to get your hands on marketing segmentation variables as a theory if you want to expand beyond just using the textbook. It's doable. Most people got the hang of the idea of the three possible target markets. However, one of the problems I ran into was people not actually closing the deal and telling me who the specific audience was. And this created a double-barreled problem for you. Problem number one was, I don't think you knew who your audience was, so you couldn't describe it, the product offer, and how it met the needs of that audience, and how you were going to have that competitive advantage in that audience. And again, I want to really re-emphasize, your products are fine. A lot of you, your market decisions were fine but you weren't using the language of marketing, so you weren't explaining it and showcasing your skills as a marketer. You weren't using the technical and the language set that was necessary for me to know that, yes, you understood marketing, and yes, you could do this. The preferred marketing strategy. If you did not select something from the Ansoft matrix, if there were, there were three possible squares you could choose from, most of you got the hang of this. You selected an ANSOF matrix element. You told me which one of the three it was going to be, and you completely ignored your opportunity to cite the ANSOF matrix. It's a named theory. You Google Scholar that thing, you will find a citation for it. You may even get back to ANSOF themselves. And you're getting the harsh language thing from me here is because this was the sucker play. This was the sucker punch. This was the one where I was going to catch people who weren't paying attention to detail. And I got the lot of you. So I want to see this fixed. I want to see this done properly this time. You walked into a trap which shouldn't have been there because it wasn't meant to be a trap. It was meant to be a bonus round. Second thing, most people did not engage the second bullet point. Most people just thoroughly ignored the existence of the product lifecycle and ran off. Pretty much, I got the impression that you were at the, thought you were in the conclusion paragraph and it was time to leave, rather than you were here to close out and finish the statement. When you didn't select the product lifecycle and you didn't tell me about where you were, where your marketplace was in the product lifecycle, you couldn't answer the third bullet point, so you basically set fire 
to all the available nuts you had. You took, rounded up the free cash that you had, just got out of the ATM and set light to it, then stared at it and went, why am I not making money? So, fix it. Get it right, bring the citations in. Strategy, state the, of the product life cycle, and that tactical requirements, there is a list of them in the textbook, and there was a slide on them in the PowerPoints. You should get a very easy, soft citation there. So, revisiting the technical requirements, you need external references. You need real-world segmentation data, and you need that final target market to be precise, concise, and specific, so your assignment is much easier to write. This is doable. This is fixable. So, the iteration process is on. Things did not go as planned. We redo the plan. We redo the implementation. You will have just under a week to edit, modify, and fix your current assignment don't have to start from scratch, you just need to make repairs and upgrades. Marks are there for the taking. Everyone, currently too many people are clustered around the low end of the D and the C. I want to see people much higher up the charts because you can do better. You will have this information, you will have the feedback on your assignment, you will have the marking criteria. We can fix this. We can get this together and we can get it right.